This was Trances, the last video that we showed you, uh, a film by Mahmoud El Manouni featuring a Moroccan group, a quartet, that really from the very, very beginning of the film takes you into music that, that throws you into these trance-like intensity moments. This group was once called the Rolling Stones of the Maghreb, and obviously the music that you heard um, was loved by the Stones and by a lot of others, beginning with maybe Paul Bowles and his recordings of Berber music. The band that I'm not sure if I pronounce correctly, Nas El Givan, has a cult-like status in the Maghreb, as you've seen in the film. They also constantly have to negotiate political realities there. They are superstars, but they also criticize the powers to be, and uh, they frequently had their conflicts uh, with the authorities. I came across that film um, because I did research for an exhibition project I'm working on right now with my colleagues Ulrike Groß and Anne Fied for the Kunstmuseum in Stuttgart. We will produce an exhibition on ecstasy that will look into the historical dimensions of ecstasy, beginning with Dionysos and right up until, yeah, the now raves, techno scene. Among other things, we're going to feature trances in the film program that will be part of that exhibition that's scheduled to open in fall 2018. Music, of course, will play uh, uh, an eminent role in that exhibition, but also the ways in which trance ecstasy is depicted in Christian iconography, how drugs are used to come to these perfect states of mind. Grateful Dead will play a significant role. Sex, of course, and also um, Candoble, that uh, religion that's uh, based in Bahia and transforms Christian, African and South American rituals into something that can only be described as a very extraordinary carnival. Trances was made available through uh, Martin Scorsese. He somehow introduced it into his world cinema project. It's quite amazing that you find these things on YouTube these days. So go looking for those treasures. Thanks, Stir. Have a good one.